Jesus in Exodus 3, 14 said, tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. Jesus is the I am. Mm -hmm. Meaning, Ekye, Asher, Ekye, as many of us are in this room, mm -hmm. Jesus can be something different to all of us, of us. and yet be one Jesus. Right. It ain't no big deal for him to be three things and be one Jesus. He can be a million things and yet be one Jesus. Right. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not one what and three who's is one who and three what's cause who can't be what less who can be what what is and when Jesus came on the scene notice John 4 y'all remember reading that when he ministered to a pretty young black woman at the well mm -hmm. a brother said I didn't see where it said she was no pretty young black woman she was a Samaritan, Samaritan wasn't she yes. that made her black yes she was young, wasn't she? Didn't nobody draw a word of blood young women. Mm -hmm. And she was pretty, wasn't she? Because Jesus told her you had five husbands and you're shacking with the sixth man and the ugly girl couldn't get that many men that fast. <laughs> wow. She had to be young, black, and fine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, help us, Lord. <laughs> Lord help us. <laughs> Jesus told her so much. She said when the Messiah comes, which is called Christ, he's going to tell us all things. Oh, thank you. Jesus said, I am the Messiah, John 4, 26. Then in the ninth chapter of St. John, verse 6, Jesus spit on the ground. Then Jesus took the spittle from his spit. He anointed the blind man's eyes. With a mud pie in the eye, the blind man came up 20, 20. Never went to the eye doctor, never saw an ophthalmologist from dead blind to 20. St. John 9, 35, Jesus asked the blind man, Doth thou believe on the Son of God? Verse 36, the blind man said, Lord, who is he? That I might believe on him. Verse 37, Jesus said, I that speak to thee am he. I'm the Son of God. Jesus, I thought you said you were the Messiah. Oh, right now I feel like being the Son of God. <laughs> I can be anything I want to be. The question is, Salvation Temple, not what can Jesus be, what do you need but Jesus yes, to be in your life? Your life right yeah. now. That's right. And you what see, you need him to be? only Jesus can take you from the iPad to the I am. Ooh. And if, if it wasn't for the I am, it wouldn't be no iPhone, iPod, or iPad, and you couldn't Ooh. even eat it at IHOP. Oh. <laughs> Help us. Go ahead, sir. No, here, here's what the Bible says. Job 38, Hallelujah. 35. This is the Bible. The Bible saying this. Glory. The Bible said, Canst thou send lightnings that they may go and say unto thee, there we are. Mm -hmm. They say Benjamin Franklin discovered lightning. Lightning is light moving atmospheric electricity. The Bible here is predicting the iPad thousands of years before it happened. When men learn how to <coughs> harness that electricity and build them towers and send them signals, <coughs> a guy told my wife, he said, get your iPad out. I'm going to send you a picture. He is standing by my wife. He put some stuff. He hit his iPad. It said, ding, that means it's gone. My wife's iPad said, ding, ding, that means it's here. Job said, can thou send lightnings that they may go? When you send it, your iPad said, ding. And when I get it, mine says, ding, ding, it got here. That ain't nothing but the Bible predicting how men will be with their harness, oh, the creation right. of God, and then market it and make money off of it. Apple, Apple ought to be paying Bishop Lewis, at least a billion dollars a year tithing, because they have taken God's electricity, right. yeah. harnessed it, made iPads, iPhones, and iPods, mm -hmm. and all the other iProducts. Yeah. If it wasn't for the I am, wouldn't be none of that none stuff. Of that. Yeah. All that stuff, the Bible predicted the automobile, Nahum 2 and 4. The Bible predicted the airplane, Jeremiah 4830. 
the Bible predicted the radio, Ecclesiastes 10, 19, all this stuff men come up with, the Bible called it a long time ago, yes, sir. Yeah. but the Bible didn't say it in scientific That's right. language, it, it just said it in ordinary language. Yes. The Bible said, Ecclesiastes 1 and 7, all rivers Ooh. run to the sea, Glory. Mm -hmm. and the sea is not full. Mm -hmm. From the place they came, thither they returned. Mm -hmm. All rivers run into the sea. Yes. The Nile chain, the Amazon chain, mm -hmm. the Mississippi chain. Mm -hmm. The water from Lake Superior flows through the St. Mary's River into Lake Huron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The water from Lake Michigan flows through the states of Mackinac to Lake Huron. The water from Lake Huron flows through the St. Clair River into Lake St. Clair. The water from Lake St. Clair flows through the Detroit River into Lake Erie. The water from Lake Erie flows through the Niagara River into Lake Ontario, mm -hmm. and the water from Lake Ontario flows through the St. Lawrence, Lawrence River into the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Great Lakes chain mm -hmm. dumps over 10 billion gallons of water in the Atlantic Ocean every week. Uh -huh. And in 5,000 years, the Atlantic Ocean ain't even raised up two inches. That's right. Try that in your bathtub. <laughs> Try that in your sink. <laughs> when, men, when the men found out how God did that, you know what they named it? The cycle of evaporation, precipitation, and, and condensation. condensation. That ain't nothing but God's water transportation system. Right. My God. <laughs> I told I told Sister Patrice and somebody else to bring me some water. Mm -hmm. This water was made in the beginning when God created the heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It ain't never been no new water created. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing but the water God originally created thousand years ago being recycled. Mm -hmm. And when men found out how God did that, the Bible just said it where the little kids can get it. But men have to have big names for it. Mm -hmm. The sun has three rays that come out of it. The chemical ray, the light ray, and the heat ray. Watch this. <coughs> the chemical ray gives scientists a knowledge of the sun. The light ray makes it light outside and the heat ray makes it feel warm. Mm -hmm. Can't you see Jesus in the Godhead there? Mm -hmm. Chemical ray, light ray, and heat ray. Chemical ray is like the Father. Light ray is like the Son. Heat ray like the Holy Ghost. Want to know God? Yeah. Know the Father. Want to see God? See the Son. Mm. Want to feel God? Get the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Father is eternal and the sex is the sun is external and the Holy Ghost is internal. The chemical ray from the sun and the heat ray work together. The heat ray pulls the salt water up out the Atlantic Ocean mm -hmm. and the chemical ray desalts the water and turns it into fresh water. And the cloud flowing over the ocean, what was salt water in the Atlantic Ocean is now fresh water in the cloud. The wind blows the cloud over your land and you in Binghamton, New York and you got a garden in the backyard and Jesus drops the temperature in the cloud, and the cloud opens up, and what was right. salt water in the Atlantic Ocean is fresh water falling yes, on your do. turnip greens and tomatoes. Yes. That ain't nothing but God's transportation system. The Bible called all that stuff thousands of years before yes. men found yes. out how God did it. And every time men find out how God does something, they come up with some kind of an invention right. or mm -hmm. something to make money off of the creation of God, and they never give the credit to the I am. But if it wasn't for the I am, it wouldn't be no iPad, iPod, iPhone, and you couldn't even eat at no iHop. So all of the credit goes to the God we serve, Glory whose name is Jesus Christ. Mm. And when you understand that kind of stuff, good cooking woman, you'll be positively Pentecostal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God.